you don't always in this business get the chance to um, update everyone with with uh, movement that's positive given the circumstances that we've had in the last year and a half. Uh, good news as it relates to meetings and conferences uh, has been hard to come by, but we have um, we have some developing news that we want to make sure that we put on the table for you. Uh, today, we have a new logo for our 93rd annual convention, and that's uh, Better and Stronger Together as we uh, press reset for the county family this year at our annual convention, August 23 through 26. Uh, you know, as a result of the, the activities of the virus and its impact on all kinds of elements of our lives and certainly in the meeting uh, conducting and conference management business. Uh, the impact of Hurricane Sally down on the Perdido Beach Resort, uh, we were we were forced to uh, to cancel a number of our meetings uh, in the last year and a half. And when we were able to announce that this year's convention would go forward on the scheduled week, we unveiled what were some necessary adjustments to the convention schedule a little earlier this year. Uh, those those changes included uh, a movement of the convention to beginning on Monday afternoon, August 23, and we'll talk more about that in just a second. And at the time, restricting attendance only to members of the county commission. At that time, the Perdido Beach Resort was in a position under the CDC guidelines to only accommodate about 250 people. There are 360 county commissioners in the state, but our average commissioner registration is in the 250 to 270 range. And so we were comfortable going forward, offering each member of the county commission an opportunity to register for the convention, but unfortunately having to say to, to everyone else uh, in the county family, look, this is gonna be what we hope is the last casualty uh, in our meeting business uh, of the last year and a half, but that we'll have to restrict attendance only to commissioners. Uh, as, as you all are aware, the CDC guidance has changed uh, a couple of times uh, in the last two months. Uh, construction at the Perdido Beach Resort has moved forward uh, a little bit ahead of schedule, and we're happy to report uh, this afternoon that we're going to be able to offer some changes. Uh, another reset, if, if you will, of the 93rd Annual Convention. In addition to county commission members, we're in a position now to accommodate up to three additional non-commission members uh, from each county. Uh, and this, this will certainly uh, be at the discretion of the county commission as who those three members are. Uh, we're we're going to lean on you and ask that you coordinate that together, communicate well together, uh, and, and determine who those three persons are. Uh, you'll have until July 9th to register those three additional members of the county family uh, at that time, we'll evaluate where we are, and if there are, there is some slack, uh, then we'll address that with some counties. Uh, you know, we'll give you the opportunity, make the membership aware of there being some additional registration opportunities, if there are any. We certainly don't anticipate that. We assume that all counties, based on the, the response that we've had, are, are going to be eager to use their three um, additional seats above county uh, commission members. We've had a couple of calls in the last week uh, since we sent out a, an early email uh, last week to mention this calls have focused on hey if we have five commissioners and only three of them are coming can we bring the three additional staff members or other members of the county family plus two more uh, and the, the answer right now is no uh, we are banking on the fact that all 360 commissioners will not be there in order to offer these three additional seats. Uh, if all 360 commissioners attended, we would only be in a position to offer really one additional seat per county. So uh, at this time, here's where we are. All commission members are able to register and three additional persons per county. We're excited about that. That'll bring our registration to about 450. Uh, that That's still, about 250 or 260 people below registration at 2019, but it's a whole lot better uh, than where we thought we would be just a few months ago. The Perdido Beach Resort is sold out. Um, the staff has worked hard to get discounted overflow rooms at the Hotel Indigo and at the Phoenix. 
that information will be in your inbox a little bit later this week. So please watch that. But unfortunately, at this point, the Perdido Beach Resort is sold out. Uh, there may be some additional rooms that come available later. And if so, we'll make you aware of that. Let's look real quickly at the schedule. As I mentioned, the convention schedule has been adjusted forward one day. So all the board of directors meetings, committee meetings, registration, all of that will begin after lunch on Monday, August 23rd. A uh, kind of scaled down exhibit showcase uh, will begin late in the day on Monday, uh, and then an opening reception from 5 until 6.30 on Monday, August 23rd. We encourage you to plan your schedule uh, to be there uh, for uh, that exhibit showcase and all the committee meetings. All of those details will go out to you in the next few days as well so that you can plan your travel schedule. And we are extremely excited as a staff uh, to have the opportunity to see everyone again. Uh, as Sam said, you can't have an association if we can't associate together, uh, and we're excited about the chance to get going. So uh, on on Tuesday, uh, that uh, that's uh, going to be uh, the kickoff of our sessions, uh, and this will be a full day general session. It it will not be possible for us to have the breakouts that are a traditional part of our convention, where each affiliate group has separate training sessions. Uh, because of the meeting facilities and still a requirement for some spacing, uh, we'll be in general sessions only. We are excited. Dr. Kevin Elko, who kicked off uh, our virtual convention uh, last year, is going to be there for an entire morning leadership workshop called I'm Strong If You're Strong. Uh, it's a workshop that he uh, he really kind of began in the business with this idea of, of leaders having a responsibility of being strong themselves. And, and then leading the people in their community, in their team to be strong as well. And that each person can only be as strong as everyone involved. We are excited about having Dr. Kevin Elko there. Alabama Power Company uh, is gonna help make that possible. It is rare for you to be able to find an entire morning on Dr. Elko's schedule. He's done this for us because of uh, the cancellation last year and we encourage you to be there and be in your seat uh, it will be uh, it will be a great morning uh, excited that we're going to be able to have the county agents kitchen for the 51st straight year uh, our afternoon session will be a legislative boot camp information on redistricting and a couple of other details that we're working on excited about tuesday tuesday night will be an open night for dinner uh, so that uh, you can plan that and, and spend some time together both evenings will be open for dinner. Wednesday night, August 25th, or Wednesday, August 25th, we'll begin in the morning with the County Agents Kitchen Breakfast. Again, we'll have general sessions all day, uh, working on infrastructure, the association strategic plan, and a number of other sessions that we're working on very hard. We've invited Alabama's uh, junior U.S. Senator, uh, Tommy Tuberville, uh, waiting uh, on confirmation from him and others to highlight what we know will be uh, a very interesting afternoon and morning general session, as well as a breakout for new commissioners so that they can spend some time together uh, because of the virus. Almost all of their entire uh, commissioner's training experience this year has been virtual. So we want to have the opportunity for those men and women to be together and spend some time together. We'll also have a convention lunch on Wednesday. Again, Wednesday night will be open for you. And then Thursday morning, um, if you will, reserve time till about 10 or 10.30 for us to have our uh, business of the association, now our award ceremony, our annual business session, our caucus for the election of board uh, representatives, as well as the report of the nominating committee, a chance for us to honor Randy Vest, who has just done an outstanding job of uh, skippering this ship uh, through what has been a challenging year, and we're excited uh, to have the opportunity to thank Randy and hope you'll be there to help us do that. And then welcoming in new president, uh, Marcus Campbell, as he sets the tone for us in the coming year. We're also working on the opportunity for some golf that afternoon. For those of you who'd like to cap out uh, your week together as we'll reset our golf game as well. So uh, we're excited about the schedule. Uh, we hope that you are as well. We are grateful for your patience as we've tried to work out the ability to get as many people involved uh, as we can in the association's convention.